Different areas are bringing out these boxes or starting to do the new organic composting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. it'll be kind of interesting. So we got our box, Yeah. Let's see, which is kind of nice. You can go ahead like this. Yeah. And, hey, let's clarify one thing. This is not a cooking demonstration. No, we're not cooking anything. <laughs> <laughs> but it kind of feels like that, doesn't it? Does. Uh, All right. So we got the canister. Yeah, so I think what they- And we got a pamphlet. And yeah. on the pamphlet, yeah, well, I want to say, and then outside they have big green garbage recycling. Right, 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 right. You can only put your yard waste in. Right. Right? Right. So this just goes right in with your yard waste. And they're trying to make it easy on us now, so when you're at the kitchen, you can actually find things as you go in, like, oh, lime, we don't need that anymore. Oh, look. Tea, tea bags? Tea bags in there. Oh, they go in there? Things really? Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. And as you're cleaning plates off now, they want you to kind of scoop them in there. But these have to be compostable tea bags. I think there's a difference. Anyway, move on. What else you got? What else you got that goes in there? You made me mad now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what else you well, got? Come on. Well, oh, I can oh, have those in here. Oh, oh we're well, gonna... look at actually things like this. Some of the paper, some of the compostable, recyclable garbage. Um, if it has food on it, they want you to go in yeah. there. Yeah, food, but not chemicals. Right. Yeah, food, but not chemicals, but not tons of food. You what don't it? want to. Oh no, all the food, right? Like every fall food every goes fall in here. Food. I mean, bones go in here. Branches, bread, coffee, dairy products. Dough. Dough. Uh, eggs, filters, like coffee filters, and then coffee grounds too. Fish, shellfish, flax, flax, flowers, fruit, I mean, all kinds everything. of stuff. Everything, basically. Yeah, and uh, like I said, I think the hardest part about it is- Newspaper. Hey, I oh, yeah, sorry. Go, this is this is kind of, a, it's kind of a hassle. I'm like so used to just dumping everything in one container. Yeah, I know, but supposedly it's for the good of the environment, for the, the health of the planet, and the health of our, our air locally, right? Because right. when you compost this stuff, it breaks down differently and releases less methane gas than if it's just rotting at the dump. Kind of like this whole deal about cows releasing a whole bunch yeah, of- Yeah, kind of like a bunch of- I mean, I, I kind of laugh about it, but I go, they're serious. No, they're absolutely serious. They're absolutely serious. Well, uh, if you have any questions, you can go to, uh, they have a here, www.westvalleyrecycles.com, right? Yeah. Or a phone number? Yeah. 408-283-9250. Yeah. That is for uh, getting in touch with the uh, West Valley Collection and Recycling and to learn more about your new uh, composting uh, bucket. Right. right. Oh, and then if you want to, you can also get little baggies that fit in here that are just the right size. And we recommend that you go maybe online to look for compostable plastic baggies. Don't just get the regular ones that take thousands of years to break down. Right. You just went to Safeway this morning, but they didn't have them. Right. So maybe you gotta go online, look at Costco, I think I heard they have them, or maybe Amazon or, or something like that. Anyway. Anyways. Is happy, that it? Happy composting in 2022. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. You got it. Okay, you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Cut! <laughs>